ஹலோ தன்வி அண்ட் ஹலோ சந்தனா ஐ ஹோப் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஆர் தேர் அண்ட் ரெடி வித் யோர் வித் யோர் ட்ராயிங் புக் அண்ட் அஸ் வி சேட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டூ சம் பெயிண்டிங் டுடே ஸோ ஹோப்ஃபுல்லி யூ ஆர் ரெடி வித் யோர் பெயிண்டிங் செட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ அண்ட் okay so let's start anyway okay so just let me know in the comment section if there is any doubt or anything and i hope i'm audible and i hope uh you can see the screen as well clearly just let me know in the comment section someone okay and also what else is um, you can use your uh, any medium of for coloring also okay J- uh, not just watercolor you but, but you can use your crayons or uh, color pencil also okay whatever you are comfortable you can use that uh, but i'm using uh, watercolor here so it will be better if you use that also hello tanvi and hello vanya i'm glad you all are here <laughs> okay how are you vanya and how are you tanvi okay baby no problem and okay so let's start now anyway okay all of you um okay good to know that vanya okay okay baby so let's uh, keep your drawing book in portrait mode hello chandana okay okay then we so we can use that same watercolor very, very good okay so all of you uh, let's start our class or the session okay and i'm also good chandana thank you and nice to meet you too okay so let's start okay now let's start okay so first keep your uh, art book in portrait mode or the lengthy way like this okay the word a simple drawing of a lighthouse you know lighthouse right hello anish nice to meet you here so i hope uh, you all know the lighthouse right so we are going to draw a very simple draw, but beautiful drawing of a lighthouse and some landscape around that the water and some lands like that okay so let's start okay so keep your book in portrait mode as i already told and somewhat from the middle okay on the right side just start one straight line and coming down slanting like this and let's stop it there okay so you understand somewhat from the middle you can start and go like this way also okay and hello swati uh, okay baby i will wait for you and if anyone is just lagging behind the session or like uh, if you can't follow that fast what you can do is just pause our video and start playing once you are done okay so no need to uh, be in a hurry and all oh shreya i'm sorry dear again i forgot okay shreya and hi per okay so new new names are here i'm glad all of you are here okay so the thing is uh, since it's a live session you can just keep it mu- uh, post in case if you if it's going too fast for you you can just keep it uh, keep it again i shreya good hi hi shreya ranjan okay so in case if you are lagging behind what you can do is just pause the video and re- start playing it once only when you are done don't do it in a hurry or in the same speed as we are doing okay okay kids so let's start i hope all of you have done this with this okay use your pencil and next is we are going to connect from this tip to this border by using some wavy wavy kind of lines because it's kind of seashore here so you can just add a wavy wavy line and end here okay it's going to be very simple but 
it's uh, okay so next thing is we are going to draw our lighthouse so for that we are going to start one base over here so here we are going to place our lighthouse okay so let's start from here on the base we are just going to draw a very slight curvy line like okay like very curvy not too curvy and not too straight as well Okay, so let's go to the next step. This should be same as you, yes, Tanvi. What's the conversation going on? I didn't understand Tanvi and Vanya. Okay, let's just sort it out between you only. <laughs> okay, so let's start again. Now we have done the base for our base for our lighthouse okay so just starting somewhere on the top okay now we have to draw some home also okay some home uh, not home okay like the on the lighthouse on the top there's like a structure like a roof and all no so we are going to so for that we need to leave some space here okay just keep it in mind you have to leave some space here and i'm drawing a top of the lighthouse and it should be exact on the top of the base okay exactly on the middle of the base or else our lighthouse should be slanting okay so be very careful while doing okay so this should be exact slanting from here now we are going to connect these two curves okay that's the thing Okay, dears. So once you are done this much, you can just connect these two together. Okay, so you can use your ruler also or just freehand with your hand itself. You can just connect and get two slanting lines like this. Yes, Vanya will wait for you. Just let me know in the comments if you have done until this step, okay? Then we will continue further. Done. Okay, then we... So let's go to the next step. Next step is you need to erase this line from inside our lighthouse. Just erase that line of the land which we have drawn initially. Just erase that. Vanya baby, you just post the video baby. Okay. So it will be better so you can follow later. No need to get in hurry and uh, make any mistake. Okay. Slowly do. You can just keep it post and then start once you are done. Okay kids, so those who have completed until this can just extend a little to here and little to here. Okay, like very little on the either side of the top curve which we have drawn. Yes, Shreya, what you can do is just keep it post baby. Okay, so do slowly only and just post the video and finish it 
and just start playing again okay so it will not be that Yes, then we everyone can do it easily, right? It's quite very easy, simple drawing only. Make that thing. Oh, that's great. I would love to see that one. Yeah. Can you just send me the picture of your tattoo? Okay. Okay, uh, yes, then we let's continue. No problem. Okay. Okay, so once we have done this much, what you can do is just extend one vertical line from here and another from here. Okay, just draw one vertical line on either side of the tip. Okay. And the next step is again connect these two with another small curve line. Uh, Anantya, uh, yes baby, I will wait for you. But uh, there is another option. You can just post the video. Okay. And finish whatever you are doing and then start playing again okay so you you will not be lagged behind okay if anyone feeling that the video or the drawing is going too fast just do it slowly by pausing the video finish that step and start playing again only once you are done okay Okay, so Tanvi, Vanya and Shreya are done. So let me go to the next step. Okay, so again, I'm going to add one small curve in between. Okay, so for drawing that fence, we just add some lines, vertical lines and horizontal lines. Okay. Okay, kids so again the next step is we are just drawing one vertical line on the top second on the top okay this is just like drawing a small house okay you can just draw two proper vertical lines okay just draw two proper vertical lines And connect that too with a straight line or curvy line properly. Okay, kids. So the next step is again making one roof. Okay, let's just a triangle shape. Like starting from this end, just go up, come back, make a triangle shape for the roof of our lighthouse. Okay. 
Okay, Anantya. Once you are done the roof, you can just draw a flag of your choice. Okay, just draw like a triangle or like a proper flag. It's totally up to you. Okay, you can just draw a proper flag also. And let me correct this part. Okay, if you feel like it's not fair, just okay. Okay, okay, so let's go to the next step. Now you have uh, those who know the lighthouse already know that there is some lines over here, right? So let's draw that lines. For that, you can just add like one curve, slightly curved lines. It's better to draw some slight curved lines, okay? Not too straight lines. And leave a big gap also, okay? Don't do it too close also. Like one, two, three. Okay, keep a fair distance between each lines okay we don't need it to be too close Okay, kids. So the next step is we we need to add some door, not some door, one door and some windows for our lighthouse. Okay. So for that we are first drawing a for the door of this lighthouse. Keep it really, uh, really towards the right side. Okay. Keep it really towards the right side. Just draw two vertical lines and connect that with the curve like this okay and next is we are going to add some windows like um, no need to draw windows on each of these lines but we are just adding like on here one straight line over here and one horizontal line here and one over here okay like this you can add like maximum four numbers like one two three one window on left side again left side right side like that okay so once we are done with the horizontal lines Again, the same steps, okay? Just draw two vertical lines on each of each end of this horizontal lines. Okay, that's good to know that you and Sauji Vedula are, are doing together. That's nice. So kids, hope you are enjoying. Okay, and then again connect these tops with a arc shape, arc shape or curve shape. Okay, it's quite simple, right? I hope it is not that hard for you. Okay, so our lighthouse is over now. Good, then we. Okay, now let's focus on the landscapes around our lighthouse. So for that, now you have drawn one patch like this here, right? From there, you can just extend one straight line, one horizontal line to the left side <coughs> of your paper. Okay, just one straight line. <coughs> Okay, so this is the sea, this is the sky, and this is the land. You understand that, right? So 
below this line is our sea area and above this all is our sky area and this is the land okay so now it's time for you to use your creativity you can add anything on your water the sea part anything to your sky and anything on the land also okay maybe you want to add some uh what some clouds you can add if you want to add a sun you can add even rainbow you can add but or the clouds anything you can just add anything you need on your drawing dolphin yes oh last class also somebody asked me to teach a dolphin right i didn't okay let's draw a dolphin here then shall i draw a dolphin this is optional okay kids if you want you can add a dolphin or else you can even add a bot also okay let's try draw, drawing a dolphin then okay vanya you need to draw one curve shape like this okay i'll just add and we'll erase it because i don't feel to draw a dolphin here okay you can add like this and just add its fins here and a small outline like this okay you can add a dolphin also okay for those who don't want to add you can just erase it okay or just don't draw it okay okay instead you can easily draw some small ship or anything like very simple one stuff so you can add okay maybe like a boat you can add here now it's time for you to use your creativity you can draw anything you want okay now you know like what all things will come in a sea okay like this you can even draw a small boat also you can draw a simple stuff you can draw like this and can even add some waves also okay and i'm adding one more layer here just for the shore that waves coming to the shore okay i just add one small wave here some birds also you can add on the sky and some buildings also here you can add like small buildings also okay anything it's totally your choice okay this is the base drawing our lighthouse the sea the sky and the land anything else is your choice like you can add anything so i'm adding some buildings over here some old buildings and let's draw some fence also small fence also we can draw here okay these are all our optionals okay you can just add anything so i hope you have added your your stuffs like your own personal things okay so let's start painting okay those who are doing painting can take your painting set and start painting okay so first and foremost we are using light blue shade okay and those who are using crayons or color pencil again take your light blue ah what did i said just now okay all of you take your light blue okay 
take your light blue for coloring the sky and our sea okay take the light blue light blue light blue light blue and mix it properly and i'm taking my round brush and i'm just giving some very light blue shape oh vanya maybe some a uh, network issue here or there i'm not sure baby okay take your light blue and fill the c c first and it's better to give shadings in horizontal strokes okay very light blue Uh, right now i am using the 6 number brush number 6 you can just use anything comfortable baby okay this is quite bushy kind of brush so it's easy to finish the painting so round brush number 6 and just without too much water i'm just giving some random lines like this inside our c okay just to get that c wavy effect the water feeling okay just giving some light shades Okay, so our C is over. And those who are doing, just keep your uh, keep the video paused and continue. Okay, once you are done only. <laughs> Then we what what did you see, baby? <laughs> Okay, so you haven't seen me, right? Then how how I came in your dream, and how I was looking, and just share me the story of your dream also, please. Okay, kids. So I just take a dark blue just to shade the very top of our. sea level that horizon level we just use and again i'm using some just below the ship if you have drawn any okay if you have drawn any ship here you can just paint with the dark blue just below that and some strokes on the sea water as well like randomly okay don't just do like perfect straight lines or anything just random strokes okay ah okay okay yeah, okay so you have seen my picture okay dear 
Okay, so now tell me the story of the dream. <laughs> Okay, and those who have finished the sea can now shift to the sky. Okay, the sky also again the same, like very light blue, using your light blue again and make it very light, okay, lighter than the sea. And also you can use that, uh, this kind of technique also you can use for your sky, if you don't want just just use the, just fill it with very light color, very light blue, like this, that. Ah, okay, that's good. I wish I can teach in your school. <laughs> that's a nice dream anyway. <laughs> okay then we maybe I will get a job there we'll try my best okay and we'll come to your class to teach you drawing <laughs> or maybe you can join my class also no problem all right kids so use your very light shade by by very light shade mean you can add a lot of water okay for making that very light shade you can just add a lot of water and leave the sky at the clouds and everything just fill only the sky part with the watery blue the very light watery blue and let it dry okay now our sky also completed, our sea also completed. Those who are still doing, do it slowly only, no hurry. Just pause the video, finish your part and then replay, okay? Yes, Vanya baby. Just light shade on the sky and some dark blue shades in the water. Okay, that's it. Let the sky be lighter than this ocean, ocean or sea or anything. Okay. okay so I'm just adding some more blue to the ocean, this water part. Okay kids, uh, just let me know in the comments how we've done until this step. So we will go further to the next step. Okay dears, we'll wait for you. Okay, I will just wait and please let me know if anyone have completed. Okay, then I will start the next step. And those who have, those who are still doing, you can just post the video also. Okay. Okay, that's great, Anantya. That's what I want actually. So that's why I'm giving just the basic drawing. And then you have to use your creativity to add other steps on our drawing okay so it's really really nice and i would love to see your drawings also so after the session once you finish your drawing don't forget to send me okay all kids whoever drew, doing this just don't forget to send me a picture i don't think that will take much time just click a picture and send to me please so that i will know like okay it's getting useful or should i continue this or should i stop this i just need to know okay so please send me a picture and those who are done until this 
can next is you can take your yellow ochre color yellow ochre means the dark yellow or even you can use a light brown shade also just the color of the sand okay that color you can use okay that's really happy to know that so would really uh, lo would love to see the work their works also because just that makes me happy <laughs> like would love to know that what they are doing and all these stuffs okay so just send me the picture share the pictures with me okay and those who have done the water part and sky part just take your yellow ochre color that is a kind of dark yellow or the light brown okay this entire land area let's fill with the yellow ochre shade carefully with horizontal strokes Okay, kids. And those who have done with this yellow ochre shade can take some brown color okay that's for the shading purpose that's just for the shading purpose we are taking some brown and giving a light shading on the top here here and just below our lighthouse you can just give some shadow kind of shading effects okay like just give some random shadings here plus you can even add a little more of shadings here and here also like on the bottom and on the edges also and random strokes with something and even some dots also with like a little, little like it's not that plain and clean area so it let, let it be like some stippling kind of uh, shadings also with some dots simply just make it like a filled you're that much comfortable or if you really love to do okay so our landscape part also almost done okay next is our buildings and a ship not a ship a small board also there small board also there so let me fill the board first okay so i'm taking some brown shade and just filling this small board you can use any color for filling your board and all okay it's totally up to your choice is filling the and for these two things no these are kind of cloth kind right so you can just use any of your uh, really vibrant colors whatever color you love the most you can just use that also 
here because it will be beautiful to see that colorful stuffs in our painting some kind of warm color or just like any shades of yellow or orange kind of colors will be beautiful okay so i just using some orange and pink inside for that part of my board you can use any color okay but not uh, blue okay because if you color these parts with blue it's totally bluish here so better use some other shades in case if you have drawn the board okay if you haven't drawn the board color accordingly no compulsions okay kids so let me go to the lighthouse part okay so for that we need red color so the lighthouse is red and white Okay kids, so once you are done with all these stuffs, you can just go to the um, lighthouse. Okay, so let's go to the lighthouse and let me fill red on the first ring of the lighthouse. Okay, and while doing this, make sure all these areas are completely dried and it should not get spread. Okay, only when the, your painting is completely dried, start with this red color and all because or else it will get uh, spread and it will make a mess. Okay, so slowly fill the areas. Very carefully. Those who are painting should you should be very careful while doing it and those who are using color pencil or crayons also make sure there should not be any white space there and all your strokes should be in same direction. These are the steps you need to notice while coloring and I hope you can see nicely bot of area here's a bot but you can color any color okay just any vibrant color other than uh, blue because blue we already colored for the water so it will not be nice if you color that part also blue so use like orange or pink or red or any kind of other colors yellow okay you just use that color
okay dear so i have done with the board and this also okay and let me go to the top roof of the lighthouse also i'm going to color uh like red only okay the same red we are going to color the roof of the board house or no not the board house the lighthouse and you can color that flag with any of your favorite color okay it's not mandatory to follow any particular color done until this step and next is some random steps uh, like some buildings I have drawn and that also it's your choice to color like with any color you can add okay so I'm using some chrome yellow or kind of orange color or something okay for the roofs I'm adding that you can use any color okay for that also okay dear nice very nice happy to know about kushi <laughs> and is kushi also doing painting or she's doing coloring all little kids just try to do painting okay like but if it's very hard for you then try doing small small crayons or color pencil first and later when you are when you are really comfortable just start with painting also okay all kids Okay, kids. So I just added some random colors here for the for the buildings which we have drawn, and I'm going to fill all the doors and windows of all this building, including our lighthouse, with a brown shade only. Okay, but it's quite dark brown shade, so you can use your brown shade like light brown also but currently because of these colors no because we have used this yellow ochre for the land and the board it is better to use a dark brown color so in case if you don't have a dark brown what you can do is just add a little bit of black just mix a little bit of black with your brown and you will get almost this kind of shade and this is really nice okay whatever things you have drawn Uh, hello Kushi, hello Kushi and I'm really really happy Kushi is doing a lighthouse today and I don't know if Kushi know already lighthouse. I hope Kushi know lighthouse also or you know now right Kushi and Kushi once you're done the drawing just send me the picture okay I would love to see your work okay so definitely I want to see Kushi's work today. And okay Vanya no worries no worries baby if you didn't draw that that also totally fine it's just optional okay this lighthouse land and sea sky are the mandatory things rest is up to you you can add anything you want okay anything like if you didn't add also it's fine but it will look plain so you can just add something like a birds or like dolphin I don't know if you have added dolphin then it's totally fine okay dolphin or just her bot or anything you can add and finish your work okay and now the last step is I'm again taking a very very light shade of blue and filling this top part of a lighthouse okay just on the 
I don't know whether you have seen. Okay, just on the top part of the lighthouse also. I'm just adding some very, very light blue and coloring that. It's mixed. Maybe it have in dried baby friendly. Okay, so every time when you are using painting, you have to be careful. It should not mix like that. Just wait for it to get dry completely and then you do. Okay, so again, I'm taking some brown color for shading. Okay, I'm just adding some shades to the things like this. Very good, very good, very good, Pushy. That's how Pushy is doing. She's doing all by herself. Okay, kids, you can just give some shading, and this little artist can skip this step, okay? The shadings and all. The little little artist can skip this and the uh, elder kids can just try okay kids so that's it our shading is also done So it's almost done and the last and final step is to wait for it to get dry completely and outline only if you want okay just wait for it to dry completely okay dear so let me take a small ink pen you can use anything okay just any kind of your black pen or sketch pen or markers or anything okay I'm just taking my ink pen and just giving some outlining like to the board and before doing that make sure it's totally dried or else your drawing will get spoiled okay so do it slowly outline it only if you feel to outline okay like if you want it is always better to outline our drawings like small small drawings it's always give an emphasis when you outline it properly so it's good to outline okay and for this small small little kind of drawings it's always best to give a nice outline but while outlining Again, you need to be very careful just as drawing. Okay, you need to be careful and outline very carefully. And while outlining, you can add detailings like you can just add some lines on the doors of the uh, doors of your lighthouse. So it will give like a wooden effect to your drawing. Okay, so this kind of detailings you can add while outlining also.
all right so my part is completed and i just want to do little lining that with my brush itself okay and let it spread no worries and on heels if you have drawn a cloud you can do like this if you like to do or if you're feeling better it's not to do then don't do all right so it's completely completed and let me know kids are you still doing or have you completed so shall i wind up the session or just let me know if you have any doubt or any clarification let me know let me know let me know now and uh, those who have completed as always and every time we say just share your pictures whatever you have drawn okay Neha now you can send me your picture to me I will wait for your picture and Kushi, Tanvi, uh, Vanya <laughs> and Anantya and Swati, Shreya, everyone, okay? Not Swati, Shreya. Shreya and Ad, again, one more Shreya. Okay, dears, so let me wind up the session today. Okay, Sanchi, sorry again. Sanchi, Sanchi. Okay, Sanchi and all my dears, okay? So Tanvi, thank you, dear. Okay, so let me wind up today's session also. I hope it's clearly visible for you. I don't know. Oh, sorry, Sanchi. Sorry. Really, really sorry. I forgot your name. And that's why I called you Neha. Really sorry. Okay, kids. So let me wind up today's session. Maybe I can share this picture to our group. As always, just share me your pictures. And let me know the feedback of the session also. Like are you enjoying really or should i improve something just tell me okay so bye dears take care and see you on next sunday okay and those who haven't subscribed our channel can subscribe now also and give a thumbs up to our video if you like our class okay okay and yes that much okay dears take care bye 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 bye